Hey, it's me, Vlad. I don't have much time. They are coming for me and my family. Before they get here, I need you to know that I did nothing wrong, and I am the victim of American closed-mindedness and irresponsible use of seemingly unlimited power. It began with all, when all my family moved to, to Washington. Yeah, not Washington, Washington. From Frog, because my, fa my father, the American diplomat, got recalled from Frog. We moved into a neighborhood with neighbors who's a Hoover's men. I mean the FBI. Now that I think about it, our housing makes perfect sense. Put the family from communist Eastern Europe with people who can keep an eye on them. We weren't even finished unpacking before the snitch came over. He barged into my room and just stood there. He didn't say anything. He just stood there until I said, you got a name? May not sound very welcoming, but how would you like a stranger just appearing in your doorway and saying nothing? I should have realized then that he was a spy because I did not, I did all the talking and he never told me anything about himself. What kind of friend does this? Then I found this listening device in my house and I know that my friend planted it. I don't know why. I don't care why. All I know is that I trust this guy by telling him about how and where my parents met, my mom's past, and my past. It just shows that you can't trust anybody. In my time in the United States, I have learned that Americans have become cowards who don't appreciate their freedoms, stand up for their rights, or stand up for their friends. In my time in, Wa in, my time in Washington, I have heard Lady Liberty's tears and her lamentations of, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore, send these homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. What has happened to America? Why have, Amer why have adults abandoned America and Lady Liberty? What can young people do to change the tears of hopelessness and, of, and betrayal into tears of trust and faith? I don't know if I'll ever talk to the snitch again, but maybe his, he can tell you his plans in Suspect Red by Ellen Elliott. Read it and save America.